Sander Berger leaving United? Welcome to your new Sheffield United news channel. If you don't want to miss out on anything new, any information, stay with us. Before going to the article, already subscribe to this channel now and leave your like, because we are always aware of the latest news of the Blades, and here you are always updated on the team. Sheffield United managed to keep hold of Sander Berger in the January window, despite a wealth of interest from the Premier League. One of the clubs thought to have been keen on signing Sander Berger were Newcastle United. Currently pushing for the top four, Newcastle were in the market for a midfielder after letting John Joe Shelby go to Nottingham Forest. However, in the end, United's board held firm with Berger and other key man, Ilman Ndiaye, much to the delight of Paul Heckingbottom. Interestingly, a further update has come to light from Yorkshire Live on Newcastle's pursuit of Berger. Newcastle interest in Sander Berger explained. According to YL, former Sheffield United assistant manager Jason Tindall is believed to have been behind Newcastle's pursuit of the Norwegian midfielder. It's claimed that Tindall vouched for Berger personally to his close friend and Magpie's boss, Eddie Howe. Of course, Tindall worked with Berger at United at the back end of the relegation season from the Premier League. Paul Heckingbottom had Tindall alongside him as he steadied the ship in a disastrous campaign. Clearly, Tindall liked what he saw from Berger and that message has made its way up the chain at Newcastle. Sheffield United News View, easy to forget Tindall was at Brummel Lane. That season was such a whirlwind and a massive disappointment that most Blades fans put it out of their heads. And with that, the name of Jason Tindall probably leaves the brain as well. But it seems Tindall made note of the best talent at United during his time with the club. Clearly, his now flying with Howe and Newcastle and over the coming seasons, is likely to come across a wealth of top players given the PIF ownership in place at St. James. In a way, though, this is a testament to how good Sander Berger can be. Sadly, United fans aren't seeing that very best of Berger at the moment. And with promotion hopes teetering, the Blades could well do with Berger being back to his best. What do you think about this possible departure of Sander Berger? Leave your opinion in the comments, it is very important for the Blades. Don't forget to subscribe, leave your like and activate the notifications.